Hey, this is Danny, and the channel's You and Me Living Free. And uh, today I have a van tour for you, but not mine, my friend Sharon's. Say hi, Sharon. Hi. Hey. Um, we are in, where are we? Bernadina Beach, Florida. Bern Fernadina Beach, Florida. <laughs> On Amelia Island. And it's fantastic. It's like 75 degrees, 72 degrees, and sunny. And we're here on the beach, um, van life. I also want to say, I quit my job eight months ago to travel for 12 months. If you want to be along for the journey, then please subscribe. And that's the only plug I'll do. And let's get straight into the van tour because everybody loves a van tour. I know I do. Okay, Sharon, so we'll do this kind of Bob Wells style and we'll do a little interview. So tell us, how did you come to be on the road? And are you on the road full-time or part-time? No, I'm not um, full-time, I'm part-time. I have to go back to sticks and bricks because of my children and grandchildren. I wish I were on the road. I'm, I'm building up six or seven weeks right now is the length of my trips, and I love it. <laughs> and you are retired, is that right? I'm a retired teacher. I retired early at 29 years. I had never been independent. I was married at 16, raised a house full of children, lost my husband 10 years ago. But we've all, I've always traveled a lot. We always traveled a lot together and we carried our kids lots of places. So now it's my time. Woo woo. Well, let's start in the front seat then. Okay. I'll just start up here in the part that's not that interesting. Everybody <laughs> usually looks like they have a certain spot for everything here. I've got my, today I've got my brush. My wasp spray is always there and my broom is always here and my change. That might change tomorrow. <laughs> Whatever I need to grab is usually there. That's all that's there. And then my dash, I have my fingernail snips have a home there. They're always there. Whether I'm at home or not, I go out to my van. My fingernail snips are there. My earbuds and all. So that's for things I know I need to know where they're at. Good. My first aid kit is under my driver's seat. That's Perfect. where it stays all the time. I always have sunscreen in this door. I saw that's in there right now. I keep my jackets my jacket closet. <laughs> I've got a basket of snacks and this time out's my first time having a back of, bucket of basket of snacks there and I've told Danny they got to go in the back because my hands <laughs> want to go there all the time. So that's probably not going to be permanent. In the front floorboard I have my cleaning supplies, extra water, and my day pack is in my front. Perfect. Uh, the back side. The back side and I like this set up because I have my butane stove, butane stove in here and I can cook from the side if I want to. Mm -hmm. And I have this, this little storage thing back here. Um, What's that got in it? Food and stuff? That's got, well, no, I'm getting ready to go out to Arizona and I had never stayed in one spot for very long. So I'm trying to start thinking in the long term boondocking so I have a big soup pot in here because nice. I like to cook soup and then um and th some of this is empty it's just extra storage yeah and I think it's going to stay there but I don't know and then this <laughs> this cooler I have here it was for my canisters when I traveled but I decided to velcro them down nice. so now that's my dirty laundry hamper so I have my dirty clothes in there so it's probably going to stay there and I had finally, I think, found a place for these aggravating <laughs> things. I'm happy with them tucked away because they cannot find right a good home. I know, right? A good home for them. Like yeah, so there they are just tucked. Yucky old garage. <laughs> the, the yucky old garage. But mine's not so yucky because I have a cook station back here. My bed, I love, I travel for a long time without having a permanent bed because I change things up every time I go out. But then I finally decided how I wanted it. So my son-in-law helped me with this bed. When I travel, I have it as a single bed. I have a table oh, back nice. here. I have my propane stove back here with a big gas tank so I can pull that stove out and do, do my cooking out here when I am stationary for a while and mm -hmm. I love that. And then I have my shower back here, my little bug spray shower yeah. that I use <laughs> when I don't go to Planet Fitness. <laughs> I use my little shower and then I have my tool bag and this is all my, this is my bag with all my charging 
things and then my bungee cords and all. My nice. extra fuel oh, is yeah, here. Nice. Look at you. My back curtain is here that I just I just put up at night. It's not a problem just to stick it in. So huh. I hadn't got it stationary. So you tuck it right in. I tuck it right in. Oh, there. Yeah. oh yours is kind of, yeah, I see. I tuck it in there. Nice. And then just there's my Jackery. This is my cards if I can ever talk anybody into learning canasta. Whose boots are those? I don't buy souvenirs. I buy things for the grandchildren. Oh, okay. So those are going back home. I was like, bag. I know your feet are small, no, but they're not that small. I don't buy souvenirs, <laughs> so I take things back home. I'll carry toys all over the nation with me, and those are going back home to my three-year-old. It's going to love them, and I won't be able to get them off of her. So that's really all that's back here. Okay, well, my, cool. my jump box. Don't know how I lived my whole life without this. Great. I mean, you know, you don't need anybody, you know, to come along and jump you off with this. And I've let some of my grandchildren use this, and they said it just cranks it right up. And I said, I know. Yeah. And it stays charged. Love it. Love it. Necessity. Yes. And I haven't had that very long. And of course, I've got Jack and everything under there, so stuff I don't need to get to very often. Love your little paper towels. You got some in the front too. You just hang yeah, there. Yeah, I do. Well, like I said, when I cook back here, I want everything back here. So. Nice. Awesome. Now my favorite part. Okay, here we my go. House. My house. Here's the good stuff. Yes, my house. Yes. Um, here's my fridge. Love my fridge. Don't know how I ever did without it. Had a grandson <laughs> said, Nan, you need a fridge in that thing. And I said, you know, I'm cheap. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to buy one. So Amazon Prime delivered it a couple of days Aww. later. So of course it means a lot to me. And I tell him all the time, I love my fridge, Tyler. <laughs> I have my fridge, my paper towels, my headlamp stays there. I just took this seat out mm -hmm. so that I could use my stow and go. So oh, nice. I have extra food in this stow and go. Yep. I've not been able to take the other seat out yet because when I go home, I have to be a nana. <laughs> so that seat has to pop up. But yeah. That's going to change because I'm going to get a little car for transportation around home. But right now, I can't take it out. I want to. All right. Show us this awesome table and the storage underneath. I love this thing. Um, the this counter. Is, the counter's new. I change every time I go home. And now I love that. I just put that counter in. I had these storage units from when I taught. I had them in my science lab and they yep. are so sturdy. The drawers, I had those old plastic units and they, all, they were yuck. So now I have plenty of storage and they're sturdy. This is bolted to it. I'm going to eventually do a sink and I'm going to install a sink. And um, okay. um, I have a, a silverware caddy here that I absolutely, I've had it there for a long time and it's nice. worked. Of course, I can't, still can't keep up with spoons, so I wear my spoon. <laughs> is it hooked around your seat there to keep it, yes, it in is. the same place? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, it's cool. hooked around the seat. And this curtain's always a biggie. Everybody always wants to know how you put your yes. curtain up. So it's just that metal strip stuck in the sides. Mm -hmm. And it anchored just in the poked middle. poked right in there, huh? Yes, and it's anchored in the middle, so. Because you have one of those nice right. little buttons that came yes. up. That was already on your van, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so that has, have one of those. That that's has nice. worked out good. And you have your water with your little pump. I do. That's why I said I'm going to get your little I sink. I bought me a sink on the road this time, and I'm going to install it when I get home. Cool. So I can put my water under the bottom. What are you storing in here? Mostly just food and then... I have that. No, this is my, um, all my dishes. Got all my dishes. My, my road is my essential. My coffee. <laughs> Can't live without it. My coffee. <laughs> uh, it's at hand's reach. And then the rest is just food. Mm -hmm. um, my Ziplocs. And yep. my spices. spices. This is my spice yeah. drawer. Perfect. And then um, I have canisters because I cook. So I have oatmeal and grits and rice, pancake mix. <laughs> and then I don't have a fruit basket. I have an onion bowl. <laughs> because I can't do without onions. My USB can't thing. Do without no, <laughs> no, not on the road. You can't either, Danny. I know. I can't, you can't either. So. <laughs> then I have my USB fan that I have yes. stored under there in the garage <laughs> so i climbed under the bed a few nights ago and got it out because we're in florida yes so the usb fan 
and then I leave my curtains up on my back windows permanently. Mm -hmm. And and your comfy bed. Tell us about the mattress. Who made the platform for you? Did your son, son make that? Did you do it? My son-in-law helped me. We, he, he designed it. And like I said, when I finally decided I wanted a permanent one, we it's freestanding. It's folded to the sides of the van. I mm -hmm. finally gave up. I beat the heck out of this van and. I finally gave up and decided to bolt to it. So it's bolted and the table pulls out. It also pulls out. My daughter travels with me once in a while. It pulls out to a full size bed. Wow. And this is convertible. So I could take that out, pull it out to a full size bed. She was with me a month or so ago and we had a full size bed. Yeah. So I, I'm 5'9". I can't do the bed across there, but you, you can. How I tall can. are you? I'm five foot. And it works perfect, and it? works doesn't it? great. And you can stretch all the way out. Mm -hmm. And I have a crib mattress. I have a baby bed mattress. <laughs> I take Sorry. it out and I put it back in. And it's funny. It's funny somebody, but it's funny, but it's the best sleep, I guess, because it's got springs in it and all. It's, it's just, it's just a good sleeping mattress. <laughs> so it's a crib mattress, but I fit good across there. And of course I have the cubbies on each side for uh -huh. night things, like little nightstands. This yeah. is new. I put this, I put this on the wall. The, mm -hmm. The bag holder. Oh I've yeah. I've enjoyed that this trip. This is new. Because you pull that out, do you use the bags for garbage or what do you use them different for? Different things. For... Garbage and you know what? Oh yeah. The yeah. double bagging. The yep. double bagging. Double bagging then a Ziploc. That... Double bagging and a Ziploc. Yes, so that's let's get the, that myth. That's, that's that the myth. conversation of that is. how do you go potty in the van. That's, that is. And this is the liquid. Okay. This is the liquid nice, that I clean tight out lid every day. That goes on. Yes. yes I, you and know, you just dump it every dump day. Dump it and bleach it every day, yes. Nice. And then there's my clothes storage. I have way too much clothes storage right now, but those <laughs> containers are new, so I'm still, you know, I can I could store cold weather because I don't I don't ever know what weather I'm going to be in. So I yeah. can I can put things over there that I don't need to get to as easy. Yeah. And then I haven't found it a problem this trip to just pull out you know what out of this tub and all. So mm -hmm. that's been those have been great and this has been wonderful. Your this little chair, new. tell me about it. This is a new addition. I didn't think I would like it in here. It takes up a lot of space, but when I'm in there at night, it really, it really, it's been fine in there at night. Turn it any way I want to, because of course it's my backpacking chair, so it's lightweight. And then I discovered yesterday, if I don't want it there when I'm traveling, it works just good it right and it gives me my space. So it folds down easy, but you don't even need to fold it down because no. you just. No. And where do you sit when you're cooking? Do you cook, sit on your bed or you sit in that I'm little chair? I'm sitting in that now. Yeah. Before I was pulling this out, I can actually pull this out and make a bench oh, to yeah. sit on. But um, that's worked. That's worked great. So it'll be that from now yeah. on. And like I said, I cook in here with this stove. I cook back there when I'm stationary, but it's great having to. I said I, have, too. I said I have two kitchens on the road. I've never had a house that I had two kitchens in. But <laughs> it's been great. Yeah. Nice. Probably not my final setup. I change every time I go home. This time out, so this is the first time I'm out with this setup, and I've been really happy with it. Even though I told Danny last night I moved my fridge three times. I moved it to the front seat. I moved it there. I moved it. I put it under the bed, and then I put it back in its original place. It's just like your house. You don't leave yeah. your house the same some things work some things never move and then some things you move it's just constantly changing yeah so let's talk about power for a minute you showed your jackery then how do you how do you get the juice to the jackery okay i have a solar panel 100 watt solar panel up there nice. and it runs through my back window over there so i usually just right there where my jackery's at I I charge the jackery there. Nice. And then I have a hot 12 volt up front in my van. Yeah. So I, some nights I run it on my van. I can leave it plugged in, no problem. I don't have any problem with it killing my van. Yeah. And so I plug it into that because I, I just need power for my fridge and my U, USB fans and then my electronics. So that's another thing because people worry about having a fridge and your jackery is what, a 240? 240. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what do you do at night? At night, I like I said, I have ran it all night in my 12 volt up there, and then my my um my car is fine the next day. Another thing I do, I saw a YouTube video with a boy that um during the day while he's traveling, he would turn his fridge down to like 29, 
get it really cold and then turn it off at night and just leave it shut. And I've done that a lot. And it's just like your refrigerator, freezer at home. If you leave it shut, it stays cold. So I hadn't had a problem with that. So I do that a lot of nights if I'm not in really hot weather. Yeah. So that's about it for the van tour. Uh, huge thanks to my friend Sharon. We met last spring in Utah. Here's a picture of us then. And we have had different adventures since then, meeting up every once in a while. Here's us in Utah at Bryce Canyon. Then we went to Glacier together. And recently our trip here where we did the van tour, we're in Georgia and, uh, and Northern Florida. And so sending tons of love and appreciation to Sharon for opening up her van for us. I love her setup. And for my regulars, just know usually I do videos in chronological order, but this one's a little bit out of order because my last video I was home and I was talking about going home to Kansas City and now I'm in Florida, but we will get caught up on the videos just for my regulars so you're not confused in any way. And if you made it to the end, you deserve a medal. Thank you so much. Catch you next time.